Does the equation x squared plus y squared equal 2 to the power of 2009 minus 1 have integer solutions for x and y? So for this question, it's asking if something exists. And you might be thinking if it does or it does not. And for me, it would be really hard to find a solution for this. So what my first instinct tells me is that the answer is going to be no. And you want to try and prove why it doesn't have any integer solutions. And the answer, in fact, is actually it doesn't have integer solutions. And we're going to see why. OK, so for questions like this, it's easier to prove if you try to look for a contradiction. So what we're going to think of is we're going to think of this equation as left and the right side. We're going to divide the left side by a number and consider the remainder and do the same with the other side. For example, if the left side, if you divide it by, I don't know, 10 and the remainder is 5, as opposed to the right side when you divide it by 10 and if the remainder is like 7 or something, then you can see that since it doesn't have the same remainder when you divide it by 10, then it's not going to have any integer solutions. So that's the method we're going to use. And remainder should remind you of modular arithmetic, which is what we're going to use in this problem. So from the previous videos, we proved that any number n squared is always 0 or 1 mod 4. And this is a property we're going to use. So let's consider these two numbers, x squared and y squared. x squared is always going to be congruent to 0 or 1 mod 4. And y squared is always going to be congruent to 0 or 1 mod 4. Because this is the square of an integer. Then since the left side is x squared plus y squared, let's add those two and see what we get. When we add them, x squared plus y squared will be congruent to, you can have, if you consider all the different pairs of 0 and 1, you have 0 mod 4, you can get 1 mod 4, or you can get 2 mod 4. So this is the left side. This is the left side. So now let's look at the right side. For the right side, we have this humongous expression, which looks really intimidating, but it's actually not. What we want is we want to compare the remainder when we divide it by 4. So we need to make it look like an expression that looks like this. 4 times some number, some number, plus a remainder. And that r can be 0, and if it's 0, it's divisible by 4. If it's 1, you'll have a remainder of 1, and you divide it by 4. So let's try to make this expression look like that. So when we rewrite 2 to the 2009 minus 1, since we're dividing this by 4, we need a 4 somehow. And we're going to get that 4 from 2 to the power of 2009. So we can rewrite this as 2 squared times 2 to the 2007, because you're taking 2 out, minus 1. And that's just 4 times 2 to the 2007 minus 1. And when you look at this, it looks identical to that. Oops. You have the 4, and this would be 2 to the 2007, and plus, or in this case, it'd be minus 1. So this number is congruent to minus 1 mod 4, which is, you know, congruent to 3 mod 4. And this is the right side. So if we compare the left and right side, we are saying that the left side can be 0, 1, or 2 mod 4. But if you look, the right side is always 3 mod 4. So this is a contradiction. So this equation right here cannot have any integer solutions. Thanks for watching our videos. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know at Math Express. Happy learning!